Hi there, I'm Christina from Heromance.com. Today's video is all about split ends. We're going to talk about the how, the what, the why, and what to do with them. And I'm even going to share some easy hairstyle tutorials that you can do if you've got split ends that you want to try and cover up. To start with, do you know what a split end looks like? There are so many different types of split ends, but I've got six that I'm going to run through. So you can even have a look in your hair and see if you can spot any of them. Uh, I'm doing this video today because I have a lot of them myself. And so I thought it would be a good example to really show you where the real case of them. First up are baby splits. These are just little tiny breaks at the end of your hair where they're starting to separate. And they might look a little bit like this. The second type are the Y splits. These are one up from the baby splits in that they're really starting to be a proper split end and the hair is separating into a Y shape. Next up are the taper or the candle. These aren't like a traditional split end in that there isn't an actual break at the center of the hair, but the outer cortex of the hair has removed and so you get this like thinning down the ends of your hair, which is definitely a lot in my hair. The next type are the incomplete split ends. These can appear almost like a hole. They're not broken all the way through to the end of the hair, but there's a separation somewhere along the hair shaft. Next, you get a tree split end. When I was over heat styling my hair, I had so many of these and it almost looks like tree branches coming off. You have multiple split ends on the one hair. Not a lot of fun, these ones. You can also get what's crucially called a feather split end. And similar to a tree, it's where you've got lots of little fiber breaks along the bottom of the hair that almost come out like a feather. These ones are a problem. And another one is the knots. This often can happen with curly or frizzy hair where one hair tangles around the other and so you get a kind of join and a sort of knot section so it, and it creates a result that's similar to the taper but is not being caused by another hair. So now we've talked about the types of split ends and you may have been able to spot them in your hair. Let's talk about what caused them. So I already mentioned one of the causes which can be your other hairs in case of frizzy hair where you get one hair tangled around the other. But there are so many causes of split ends and so they're pretty much unavoidable in any hair type. But if we go through some of the main ones, you've got heat styling. That's definitely the cause of those big tree split ends. Uh, the reason is that heat will actually remove moisture from your hair, which can create uh, a more uh, brutal environment. And that means that it's easier for the hair to break. And also over high heat styling will also cause the hair cuticle to have damage, which can lead to split ends. Another big culprit for split ends is overcoloring, uh, particularly a lot of bleach in your hair. This will cause your hair to swell and that because bleach actually um, thickens the hair shaft, but that can also create stress on the hair, which can lead to damage to the cuticle and split ends. But did you know that water also does the same thing to your hair? Water causes the hair the cuticle to swell and that's why hair can be more fragile when it's wet. So just the act of wet washing your hair over time can also create splits and also any kind of uh, over styling when your hair is wet, uh, brushing your hair too much, this sort of thing is gonna create that kind of mechanical damage, which will also create split ends. And if you're saying, I don't color my hair, I don't do any heat styling, why am I getting split ends? Could just be the sun. The sun is also going to have that same high heat damage to your hair, and so a lot of UV exposure will also cause damage to your hair cuticle and can create split ends. A weird one that people don't think about that can damage their hair is your handbag. Uh, do you carry your handbag on the same side? You might find that one side of your hair is a bit thinner than the other. Uh, it could be from your bag always pulling on your hair. And the other one is which side you sleep on. You can create that sort of environmental damage, that friction, which is going to cause more breakage on one side of your head. And while we will talk about haircuts as to fixing your split ends, the wrong type of scissors can actually create more split ends. If you've ever sat at your desk and thought, oh, I can just quickly snip that <laughs> split end off your hair, you may actually cause more damage by cutting your hair with blunt scissors, which can cause those splits to go further up your hair. So while it might be really tempting to do a little mini trim yourself at home, unless you have correct scissors, don't even try it. Your hair type is also a factor as to why you get split ends. It might just be genetics. Some hair types are more prone to split ends and also some uh, medical conditions can also cause more split ends in your hair. So it might just be something that you have to put up with and manage more. But really, sun and water are unavoidable, so we're all going to face split ends at some point. So let's talk about how to fix them. There are so many products on the market that claim to fix and repair your split ends, but these are just superficial. I truly believe there isn't a product to fix a split end. A lot of them are just silicones that will help as a kind of glue to apparently just seal them down and stop them looking so frayed. But these are just temporary. 
which means they can be a really good fix if you've got an event coming up and you want your hair to look a lot shinier, this sort of product can work really well. Uh, when your hair is broken and frayed, the cuticle doesn't reflect the light evenly, so you can, your hair can look quite dull when it has a lot of split ends. So these products do work to superficially make your hair look better, but they're not fixing or repairing any of your split ends. The true fix is really scissors. You need to go to a hairdresser and get a really good haircut, and that is going to cut all your split ends so you can start with a fresh base. Once you've got your fresh base, then we can talk about how to prevent future split ends. So with preventing your split ends, there's lots of things you can do. Number one is to remove lots of friction to your hair. Don't rub your hair with a towel when you get out of the shower after washing your hair. Um, switch your pillowcase, be kinder to your hair when it's wet. All of these little small things, um, making sure your hair is out of the way from your handbag, these will all help reduce that friction on your hair, which will reduce the split ends. You can also do a lot of treatments to help prevent your split ends. Uh, K-Hair Pep, which I did on my recent video, is definitely a treatment I recommend because it really helps rebuild the structure of your hair and Plex treatments can work as well. But just generally making sure that you have a good moisture protein balance in your hair by doing regular treatments will make sure that your hair is staying in optimum condition and reducing any risk of split ends. Split ends are just a part of having hair and they'll happen to us no matter what we try and do to prevent them. Sun and water are unavoidable so we're all going to have to deal with them and a haircut really is the only solution. That's why I'm so excited I'm going for a haircut today. I can't wait to get a good chop because while it feels really good to have long hair, when it's not in great condition, I don't really see the point. I think it's better to have healthy hair no matter what the length. But if you can't get to the hairdressers to get a haircut, then I have some hairstyle solutions to help you hide those split ends. The first hairstyle I'm gonna show you is a faux bob. This hides all the ends of your hair away like you had a haircut, but it's just temporary. It's also a great way if you wanna test out a hair length before you get a haircut. Starting by creating a section about level with my ears and just clipping the top of my hair out of the way. And in the bottom section, I'm going to do a basic braid. You could also do a French braid, but let's just keep it simple. This section is now going to be up and out of the way, which is also going to create an anchor for us to pin our faux bob to. Once you've finished your braid, roll it up into a flat bun and pin it in place at the back. Now let's unclip the top and we'll brush it through. I've created a side part and I'm gonna split my hair into three and use a small clear elastic to tie them into ponytails right at the bottom. Try and keep the elastics even in all the sections as this will help keep the length of your bob the same all the way around. Starting at the back, I'm rolling that ponytail underneath and pinning it to the braid at the back. On the sides, I'm rolling the ends around my fingers and then positioning them up to pin them behind my ear. I'm sorry I didn't take my time to curl my hair before I did this and pin the sections a little bit more evenly because it's not really vibing with me right now. <laughs> but I really hope you get the gist and the technique behind creating a faux bob and you do give this a try in your hair and you get a better result than I did. Now, to be honest, I'm getting a little bit more Lord Farquhar vibes from this faux bob than I normally would. And I think that's because I've done it with straight hair. I do recommend curling your hair first to get like a bit more of a natural vibe. I feel like I want to speak to the manager with this hairstyle, to be honest. but. When you play with this style, it is possible to hide those split ends away. And I think this can work quite well. Maybe Halloween? <laughs> but it is definitely a really good option if your ends are really driving you crazy and you wanna wear your hair out. You can just tuck the ends under and pin them away and this, this can work pretty well for a cute faux bob. But definitely, I would curl or wave your hair first because, yeah, full Lord Farquhar, talk to the manager vibes. <laughs> Let's try one more style. A great style for hiding away your split ends is a bun, but you want to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to add in a simple braid detail. Let's get started. If you're still here for this tutorial, thank you for staying with me past that faux bob. This is much better, I promise. This is a Dutch braid that's going to curve around to the back. Lots of in-depth tutorials on braids if you want to check my channel. And for this braid, what I'm doing is adding in hair underneath. This creates the braid to sit on top and I'm adding in hair from both sides, but as it goes around the back, I'm just adding in from the top. 
and once I've added in a few sections, I just finish in a regular braid. And if you have a small elastic to hand, that makes it really easy to secure the braid at the bottom. My favorite part, stretching out the braid. I never miss this step. It really helps us to emphasize and I pull at the sides of the braid to fatten them out. To create the bun, I'm keeping it simple, bringing all the hair just behind my left ear, twisting it around and securing it with an Invisibobble. These large hair elastics are great because they don't leave a dent in your hair. You can also add a couple of bobby pins in just to get the bun sitting exactly right. Next, we take the end of the braid and wrap it around underneath the bun and tuck the ends under the braid. Then take a couple of bobby pins to secure the braid in place around the bun and make sure that the ends don't pop out. No split ends in sight and a really cute braided up style. I love how simple this bun is to do, but if braids are still not your thing, you could definitely just twist your hair around over the bun or use some accessories just to add some detail to the style. And because we're trying everything today to try and hide those split ends, I'm even going super old school. And I've got one of these, uh, oh my God, what do they used to be called? Topsy tail. <laughs> I couldn't even remember the name. This actually is a trademark topsy tail. And I'm gonna be showing you how to hide your split ends with one of these. I never thought I'd be using a topsy tail again, but here we are. I'm gonna start by brushing all my hair and creating a ponytail at the back. I wanna position the ponytail just above the occipital bone at the back of my head. If you have a feel, that's that little bone that pokes out at the back. Secure your ponytail with an elastic or I'm actually gonna use a hair bungee because these elastics never fit around my hair the right amount. With your ponytail in place, we're gonna use the topsy tail upside down. So poke the stick through your ponytail above the elastic. Then thread your ponytail through the opening of the topsy tail and we're going to flip our pony all the way through and out the top. This is just genuinely a cute trick for getting more volume in your ponytail, but I want to create more of a sleek style. So I'll brush it through with my bristle brush and then take a small elastic just to keep the ends together. Now with a bobby pin, we're going to fold the ends of our bun up and pin them in place just underneath our ponytail. You can even tuck them in to make sure that the bun sits really flat and tight. Fan your bun out to create more of a shape and you can pin at the sides if you need to as well. So that's a fun twist on the topsy tail, which definitely hides away all your split ends. Tell me which one was your favorite style. And if you try the bob, I would love to see if you get a better version than I do. I might have to do a new tutorial about that one, doing it in the proper way where I curl my hair first. Or naturally curly hair will work even better. I hope I've helped to answer some of your questions about split ends, but if you've got any more, pop into the comments below and I'll, we can chat there. Or head over to hairromance.com where I've got lots more tips and tutorials. Have fun with your hair and I'll see you next time. Bye.